Dubai is an interesting place and I definitely want to go back. It's pretty cool and it's pretty diverse. I didn't expect it to be like that and uh, it's amazing. It looks like a futuristic city and it, it is. I don't even know if I saw the scene out there, but I saw an event. Let's just say that because the scene is probably more people that didn't get to show up, etc. And this is the first time I went to a function out there. And so, and it was kind of like a jam function in a sense, but it was a festival, you know, and they had the, the little hip hop thing going on with the writing and the, and the MC and the DJ and, and the dance. So automatically that about, about that moment and the scene at that particular thing, I liked it a lot because they were balancing the elements. For me to go and see like 20 artists from different countries at a, at a function, that was amazing to see. Because you know a lot of times we don't have the resources to do that. So that event is a good example of what should happen more. They should have these things, you know, uh, for people to, to stumble upon. You know, if, if a b-boy or a b-girl is looking at YouTube all day and they're just watching Breaking, that's what they're going to think it's all about. People need to share more information about the way this, this all works. Because it's like, it's cool for you to choose one element of hip-hop culture that you like. But I mean, I think that if you dance, you should know how to tag your name. You know what I'm saying? I think that if you dance, you should know how to kind of cut. You know what I'm saying? It's all related. And it enhances all of them. All the, each element enhances the other, the other element for an individual, I believe. Now, not everybody can dance. Some people got two left feet, but then you can, you know, you can maybe rhyme or you can or paint. So uh, I think that uh, it just requires maybe some more pioneers getting opportunities to go out there and lecture, maybe do some screenings, you know, and just give more information to the people so they can take a look at it and see if they want to be a part of it. I think it's, you know, for the Zulu Nation Middle East and the guys out there that have been making those efforts, I think it's a great opportunity to, uh, to really expand and connect and utilize the resources of the world to bring people back and forth, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they're in a great position right now with a young, strong community. They're just not getting, because of the, the, this politics behind that the UAE, finding a hard time to really see hip hop as a positive movement, you know, because there are so many negative connotations around what people call hip hop in, starting in the United States, basically. I mean, we gave a lot of these negative connotations out through media and, and industry and gangster rap and misogyny and girls taking their clothes off. So I can, I can dig it where any adult person in any part of the world would kind of be uh, hesitant to really, you know, open their arms to hip hop. I think that there's hundreds of kids that when they see it, they're going to be interested in it. Just like the, the, the wildfire that hip hop is around the world for 40 years. You know, when you're young and you're creative and you're curious, you know, it's, you got four things that you can pick from that you can try to do, you know, and you might do them all. So I think that the, the event was a good example of, uh, <clears throat> you know, hopefully the, uh, the powers that be or the government saying, hey, let's give this a shot mm -hmm. more often. And we, we need to really, and this is an important message, I like the question too, because it is important for us to really sustain what we do, because if we allow it to, to get out of our hands too much, it's gonna, people are gonna change it into what they want it to be. And I think that that's the way evolution works and it's already happening, but we still need to be able to be sustainable in creating small, great events, not based around money, you know, based around having fun. And, and we should be getting the communities and the cities and states to pay for them. We shouldn't have to pay for any of this. We're bringing people together. So it's like, go with a creative approach, you know, and, uh, and just try to have fun with it. You gotta have fun. You gotta have a fun, creative approach to everything you do. This is how successful events happen. You know, I don't give a fuck if you're the best fucking, got the best sponsor, you know, big promoter, do whatever, ha, ha, ha. If we don't show up, there's nothing. You can have sound, security, 5,000 seat venue. If the, the art, the talent, the pureness doesn't show up, there's nothing. We, we make the events. We can never forget that. B-boys are B-boys. We do this before entertainment. We do this before cameras and films. I mean, I did this when I was 12. This is about having fun. This is about breaking and going off to beats. And it stays with you like riding a bike stays with you. So breaking never really stopped in New York City, even though people say that. And it's, so I never stopped. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I mean, how can breaking stop?